Hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about the HTML head element. So the head element contains metadata and the metadata provides data about the HTML document. And the metadata is not displayed on the web page. So the metadata defines the document title and also we can use the meta tag and we can provide the character set for the web page. So first of all we're going to talk about the title tag. So we can put the title tag inside the head tag. The title tag defines the title for the document. So inside the opening and closing title tag, we can provide the title like HTML tutorial. So this will be the title for the web page. And the page title is very important for the search engine optimization. So the title element defines a title which will be shown in the browser's title bar. So the title should be accurate and meaningful. And next you have the style tag. So the style tag is used to define the style information for the HTML page. So inside the style tag we can write our CSS. So we can select the body tag and we can set some background color like green. So we can use the style tag and we can select one element of the web page and we can define some style information for that element. And next we have the link tag. So we can write the link tag inside the head tag. So the link tag is basically used to link to the external resource. So we can use the link tag and we can link to some external style sheet. So inside the href we have to specify the name of the external style sheet and after we have the meta tag so the meta element is used to specify the character set like an example we have used the meta tag and we have defined the character set for the web page and also we can define the page description like an example we can use the meta tag where the name is going to be the description and the content is going to be the description about the page. Similarly also we can use the meta tag and we can define that keyword for the web page. So the name will be the keyword and the content will be the keyword for the page. Similarly also we can use the meta tag and we can set the author so the name will be the author and the content will be the name of the author and also we can use the meta tag and we can set the viewport settings so now i'm gonna use the meta tag and we can set the viewport settings so the name will be the viewport and and inside the content we are gonna set the width of the content to the device width and also we can set the initial scale and we're gonna set to one so we can use the meta tag where we can set the viewport so the name will be viewport and the content where we have set the width of the content to the device width and the initial scale is going to be one and the meta tag will not be displayed on the web page but it is used by the search engine so the meta tag is very important for the web page so next we have the script tag so we can put the script tag inside the head element or we can put that inside the body element. And the script tag is used to define the client side JavaScript. So we can write the JavaScript code inside the script tag and we can dynamically manipulate the content of the web page. And next we have the base tag. So the base tag used to specify the base URL for all relative URL in the page. So the base tag came with the href attribute. So inside the href, we have to put the base URL. And also we can set one target and we can set the target to blank. So this is the way the head element of the web page can contain the title tag, which contains the title for the page. And it can contain the style tag, which include the style information for the different element of the page. And also it can contain the meta tag which contains the meta information 
about the description keyword author and viewport and also we can use the meta tag to define the character set for the web page and also we can use the link tag and we can link to some external resource and also we have the script tag where we can write some javascript to dynamically manipulate the content of the page and also we have the base tag which defines the base url for the page so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you